You're watching the fifth video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. In today's tutorial, you're going to learn how to export your video in different formats, as well as how to upload straight to YouTube or Vimeo, and how to burn the video to a DVD. Exporting is the final step in editing a video. If you get through the process of editing your whole video, then you want to make sure it's ready for you to upload it smoothly. Export settings will affect how big the file is. If it ever seems to take too long when you're trying to upload a video to the internet, it could be an issue with the way you exported your video. So we have a project already edited in my timeline, and we're happy with it, so let's export. There's a blue button in the top and center of the screen that says Export. I'll click that. So there's five buttons up here for exporting. We have Local to export to your PC, and Device to export your video for a certain device like an iPhone or an Xbox. In the YouTube section, you can upload your video directly to YouTube and adjust all the settings for your upload here. On the Vimeo tab, you can do the same, but for Vimeo. The last tab is the DVD tab, and here you can easily burn your video onto a disc and choose the label and setting of it. Let's use the local tab for now. On the left of the window, there's plenty of different formats to choose from. A great option in my opinion is MP4 because it's pretty common and can usually be viewed on both Mac and Windows. Let's click the settings button right next to resolution here. You can choose the quality here, but the higher the quality you choose, the bigger your file will be, so it might take longer to render and upload online. I'll leave mine at better for now. Encoding can be tricky because there's lots of different ways to do it. H.264 is universal and also works on Windows and Mac. And it doesn't hurt the quality of your video so much like some other formats might. You can choose your resolution here depending on what resolution you shot in. As a reminder, the image you see is made out of tiny pixels that display our image measured by how wide and tall they are. If you have 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels tall, then you have a full HD image. You can export in 4K, or any other resolution you may have shot in. 4K would be four times the amount of pixels that 1920 by 1080 has, but I'm going to leave it on 1920 by 1080 That's the quality for most videos on the internet, and not everyone has a 4K display to even view a 4K video on. Frame rate also depends what you shot with. When you watch a video, you're not seeing actual motion, you're seeing a ton of images or frames being placed on screen at a certain rate. We see these images as a moving image, so your frame rate is the rate you view each image. The frame rate for most films is 24 frames per second. This frame rate should give you a cinematic look if you're shooting with a camera, but if you're shooting on an iPhone or Android default camera, you'll probably have your footage at 30 frames per second. The bitrate will change due to the quality preset we chose at the top of the screen, so we're going to leave it alone at 8000 kilobits per second. Usually, the higher the frame rate and resolution, the higher the bitrate you'll want. For audio, the only thing you might want to change here is the channel setting. If you're wanting to export for surround sound, you would want to use 5.1, but for a normal video, it will most likely be fine at stereo. Once we click OK, we can choose where to save our video and what to name it. As we export, we can pause, cancel, and choose what we want done after the export is finished in this drop-down menu here. Exporting can take a while, depending on how long your video is and how high resolution it is. Make sure if you're on a laptop that you have it plugged in before you get up and leave. I recommend always watching through your video to make sure everything was edited and exported correctly before you show anyone the video or upload it. Thanks for watching. Check out our other tutorials to learn how to edit a video from start to finish on Filmora 9.